Um, hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, ten, uh, ten, of, um, so what I'm going to do what I'm do today is I'm going to um, I'm going to take you to basically uh, extending the, the commands that you have available for your um, you know, using a WLS WLST tool, scripting tool. Um, so what? So before I even go to that, um. So last time I actually um I created a domain from a domain template and so now these are just uh, more of the the different commands that you have available. You can actually uh you can uh, again so again so I'll just this is an example of you know how to create a domain from domain template and this is how to extend a domain using a domain template uh, template. And basically with uh with extend what you're doing is you actually just run the you run the read uh domain, uh you go to domain directory, um and then you basically just add a template, and then um, and, and then you update the domain and save, and that's gonna save the domain changes, and you close the domain. Um, so I can do that manually. Okay, let me do this. So read domain. So I'll go into my file system. Um, so if you can remember, last time I created a. Uh, diameter domain so let's say if I wanted to extend diameter domain to um maybe um you know so that include the domain template for let's say let's say geo one uh, okay let, actually you know what let me join geo one and geo two uh the, the two the, the two domains so what I'll do is I'm going to uh, basically just I'm gonna copy this And copy this, and then come to my WLC window and paste it. Actually, before I do that, what I would need to do first is I'm going to I need to replace. All of my backward slash and forward slashes, or else it's not gonna, uh, the VLC is not gonna accept it. So that should be done. Yeah, so let me go to. Expand domain. There you go. So copy this. That's not what I meant to do. So let me do this. The domain. Copy this. And come to my window and paste it. Okay, that's the first one. And then I need to do the main. Okay. So basically, I'm opening, I'm opening my domain now. So read the main, and then I need to get to my domain template, right? So I said I was going to do, I'm going to uh, add, extend my geo one. With Geo2 domain template, so let me go to uh, WLS uh, should be common template domain, and then I'll use Geo2. So copy this. So what I'll do next is I'm going to run add template. I should actually already have Geo2 open. Or Geo1. There you go. Come on, template. There you go. Got it. Copy this. And I come to the domain. Add template 
and then we add something. I'm actually adding the other name too. And then we copy this. I'm adding my domain template to geo domain one. There you go. And then what I do next is I am going to um actually let me do this step by step. So one we can two we add template and then three I'm going to uh, I'm gonna update my domain now, so just one update domain. And four, just be patient. And then four, uh, again, so that, so by doing the update, I just saved that domain change, you know, Again, I, I added geo, added domain template to my geo, geo two domain template to my geo one domain, and then so what I do now is I'm just, I'm just gonna close my domain, close domain. There you go. So that's how you add a domain template to a uh, to a, one of your one of your um existing domains. So what I do next is I'm actually gonna show you how to um how to extend. Or how to create custom commands uh, for WLSD. By custom, I mean by custom commands, I mean you be able to uh, just summon like summon up some summon them up. You know, um, let's say you want to have a uh, an, a readout, you be able to say you be able to you know you know you know uh, from that from this window you be able to say okay so if my if your variable is let's say uh, you know uh, I don't know test and you'd be able to say, okay, I have I have this folder, um, and then that, and then you'd be able to see we able to refer to this variable, which is a custom command, and this you'd be able to um, just get a readout uh, for the for the script that you have in that in this in this um, in this file that should actually, that should actually say file in that folder, but it would be this file that test the file variable and then this is how you would invoke that uh you know the, the results the results uh the, re the output for that um for this you know for that uh for that script for that code so what i do do now is that instead of just you know talking about it what i mean i'm going to take it i'm going to walk you through how to do this so first thing you need to do is you need to uh i'm going to create that py file so for you to be able to execute uh scripts uh, on this window, you need to the file has to be py because then again, so this is a uh, this is a Python, uh, this is a Python extension file, uh, and basically NWSD is a, is basically is is, a, is so Python so, so NWSD is, is basically it's like it's 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 um it's Python based, uh, and then and it's it closely it. In terms of in terms of um, in terms of uh, lang uh, programming languages, right? So Java and Python are closely related. So you have some similarity in terms of you know the, the uh, you know the you know the the libraries or you know how you know the different the different um how the different how the different programming languages, programming languages respond you know respond to different codes. So so basically, what I'm trying to say is that so if you have so you're using the, the, that PY because Python and Java are basically as close as very similar to one another. So I'm gonna create a P, that PY file. So first thing you do is then you go to this uh to this folder, right? So it's gonna be this uh, again. So go into my file system. So it's gonna be C, uh, VLSD, and it's gonna be common. Common. Let me do. Okay, I'm already. I need to go to common, and then WLSD, and then lib. And so this is where you will place your uh your common um you know your 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 custom commands uh the, or, or actually the 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 file the that py files containing you know the script for your custom commands um so basically what I what I'm trying to say is that okay so um if I want okay I'm gonna create a surf mod uh that py file right so what I do is I'm going to uh like 
right click then new I want to create a new file and I really want to get uh, I really want to use a notepad with the plus plus but just give me one second Okay, let me do this. I really want to use my Pat Plus Plus. So I am going to go to I wanna open up my notepad plus plus wait. Just to show you, you know, actually rather than doing that, why don't I just drag it and put it put it over here? Okay, new, save as, let me go to this path, this directory I mean, so it's going to be C, C, uh, Oco 11G, middleware. WLSD, like the whatever else. Okay, WLS server. Okay, common, and then uh, WLSD lib, and the new file is going to be. I'm gonna all, and then call this one surf mod. That py. Save it. Okay, and you can see I just created a new file. So what I'll then do is I am going to minimize this. I'm going to come to this window and then so so I'm, I just created a file to self one py right and so now I need a script so I'm just gonna copy this sample script and then paste it on here. So basically again so you're able to um again I'm not I do not know form formal languages you know whatsoever but. Uh, so this is just a, a simple code to you know look into uh, some Java libraries and to, uh, you know import it, the date you know the, the date um, the library and uh, you know I have here I have the variable test and then so this is going to be the readout uh, and then uh, testing custom commands uh, feature. Uh, let me just say on okay on okay. So this is fine. So what I do is I'm gonna save this and come to my WLSD. So let me do this. So with WLSD, I have to exit and show you. Um, so there are two methods to uh, basically to be able to invoke, um, you know, this script, right? Or this, you know, this 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 variable. Basically, um, first thing is. Uh, the first one is basically I can cd into my into server that then and then do what I've already done with this set the WLS uh, env uh, and then or I can also do the uh, I can just go to my domain uh, my my domain um, folder uh, and then do a slash bin and then and then invoke the set domain env um, command that uh, uh, that's cmd so I've, I'm already here so let me just go ahead and um, redo it again. Okay, and we can rerun Java web logic that WLSC. And then what I'll do next is I'm going to then, and again, so the variable is test and my file name is serve mod. So, in other words, that would be. WLS 
offline. It will be file name. That uh, where is it? There you go. Okay, so my WLS2 was initialized. So what I do next is I am then going to um, I'm going to then run the this command, the surf mod that test. So let me run that surf mod that TSD. Okay, so if you can, as you can see, the readout says uh, testing commands feature on Wednesday, 9:43. Okay, uh, so again, it's the right time. So, uh, what I'll do is, um, so pretty much this is how you you you're able to extend, you know, basically just create custom commands for the VLS, the VLST. Uh, and again, you can, you know, I can admit, I'm not, I'm not a programmer at all, but you know. This is a, this is probably to the extent that I'm going to you know into dealing with you know the code or you know QR file because I know also you can you can also do this you can also do a uh, an exec file and with an exec file you basically you basically just point to you know I'm not sure if it's gonna work but you will point to uh, you will point to your 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 file and then remember it has to be forward slash Lib and then surf mod at the water. Is it well? So apparently the exact file is not working. Um, let's try help. Yeah, so it's not. It's not working, or I cannot, I cannot find it. But anyways, um, it should be exact. Let me do this. Yeah, it's not for some reason it's not it's not it's not doing it. But anyways, so basically, um, again, if you just place your uh, that you are file in this folder, the comment slash of yes slash lib, then you'll be able to just uh sum it up, you know, on you know on the command line. So test, and there you go. So uh, that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.